Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. We ended the previous video with but what if you want to return multiple values from a function this may sound very counter intuitive but in swift it is pretty much possible through a concept of tuple so let's continue with the discussion assume that you have a method called as get average and another method called as get sum both of these are returning average and sum respectively provided you give an input array of float if you want to get hold of the average and sum of an array this is how a typical code would look like you are invoking get average and get sum again and again but if you have a look at the internal code of get average and get sum pretty much most of the logic remains the same so some of you may say that this can be pretty much resolved by slightly modifying the code so that we can reuse the get sum in the get average method this only slightly modifies the problem it doesn't actually resolve the problem of invoking multiple functions if there was a way that we could merge both of these into one single function and return multiple values from a function that would be great and that is where tuples come into picture if you are wondering what is a tuple it is a mathematical term in mathematics it is said as a finite ordered list of elements and n tuple is a sequence of n elements and if you are coming from the relational database background tuple is nothing but a record in a database if there are five items and you put them together in one single way that is what is a quintuple is we are more interested in what it means in swift as per apple a tuple type is a comma separated list of zero or more more types enclosed in a parenthesis so this is what a tuple would look like they are just different data types it could be an integer string boolean float value i just bunch them together by comma separation and put a parenthesis around them and you just created a tuple and this is what we will be using to return multiple values from a function so let's go back to x code and see how we can use a tuple to return multiple values so as you can see here we have two methods here get average and get sum instead of having two function i will write another function called as function get statistics and this will take a input array but instead of returning single float i will return two floats and this is where i am returning a tuple you will observe that we are returning only single value but in this case we are returning multiple values and they are comma separated with parenthesis and that is what a tuple is and inside get statistics i will just evaluate sum and average and i will return sum and average that's it now i have a method which is returning multiple values and if you observe data type of both of these values matches with the tuple that i have defined here and now instead of invoking get average and get sum i can directly invoke get statistics so i will hold the tuple value that is getting returned from the get statistics and while printing i will use tuple value dot zero so it looks like we are accessing array but instead of using parenthesis i am using a dot and here i am using tuple value one and what if you don't want to use dot zero or dot one you would rather use some meaningful name instead of using these indices for that you can just use a name for the tuple i will use sum here and data type is float you can recall that it just looks like a parameter name that we define for a function but these are the return values of a function in a tuple and another value is average and here instead of zero i can write sum and average and it still works perfectly fine and this is how tuple will make your life easy if you want to return multiple values you will come across a lot of built-in functions of swift which return a tuple and you should be aware how to work with the tuples and this is not the only place where we will be using tuples as we progress in the tutorial you will come across multiple places where i will be using tuple so stay tuned that that brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.